Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for November 29th. I hope you all had a very wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, today's devotion is titled Hazardous Materials, and the Bible reading is from Isaiah chapter 6, verses 1 to 10. It was in the year King Uzziah died that I saw the Lord. He was sitting on a lofty throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Attending him were mighty seraphim, each having six wings. With two wings they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. They were calling out to each other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of heaven's armies. The whole earth is filled with his glory. Their voices shook the temple to its foundations, and the entire building was filled with smoke. Then I said, It's all over. I'm doomed, for I am a sinful man. I have filthy lips, and I live among a people with filthy lips. Yet I have seen the King, the Lord of heaven's armies. Then one of the seraphim flew to me with a burning coal he had taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. He touched my lips with it and said, See, this coal has touched your lips. Now your guilt is removed and your sins are forgiven. Then I heard the Lord asking, Whom should I send as a messenger to this people? Who will go for us? I said, Here I am. Send me. And he said, Yes, go and say to this people, Listen carefully, but do not understand. Watch closely, but learn nothing. Harden the hearts of these people. Plug their ears and shut their eyes. Of course. Bella. Sorry, guys. That way they will not see with their eyes, nor hear with their ears, nor understand with their hearts, and turn to me for healing. The sound of a siren increased to an ear-piercing level as an emergency vehicle sped by my car. Its flashing lights glared through my windshield, illuminating the words hazardous materials printed on the side of the truck. Later, I learned it had been racing to a science laboratory where a 400 gallon container of sulfuric acid had begun to leak. Emergency workers had to contain the substance immediately because of its ability to damage whatever it came in contact with. As I thought about this news story, I wondered what would happen if sirens blared every time a harsh or critical word leaked out of my mouth. Sadly, it might become rather noisy around our house. The prophet Isaiah shared this sense of awareness about his sin. When he said God's glory in a vision, when he said, sorry guys, when he saw God's glory in a vision, he was overcome by his unworthiness. He recognized that he was a man of unclean lips, living with people who shared the same problem. What happened next gives me hope. An angel touched his lips with a red-hot coal, explaining, Your guilt is taken away and your sin atoned for. We have moment-by-moment -moment choices to make with our words, both written and spoken. Will they be hazardous material? Or will we allow God's glory to convict us and his grace to heal us so we can honor him with everything we express? Why do our words have such a powerful effect on others? How might God want to change your speech? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion. I'm sorry for the dog barking. I uh, hope you all have a wonderful day.